Hello guys, so today we are going to go into chapter 9, subtopic 9.4 assimilation. I hope you have done your revision on 9.3 which is absorption of digested food so that we can further continue into 9.4 assimilation of the digested food. But before we begin, as usual, we have to know the learning standard. Okay, the learning standard for this subtopic is 9.4.1 where you have to describe the roles of the circulatory system in assimilation of digested food and 9.4.2 where you have to discuss the functions of liver in assimilation of digested food uh, including metabolism of the digested food in carbohydrates and protein the storage of nutrients and also detoxification all these are the function of the liver Okay, so let's recap a little on our previous lesson. So in our previous lesson, you have learned on the structure of villus. Okay, where the epithelial cell of the villus is about one cell thick for rapid diffusion of nutrients. And then we have a network of the capillaries in the villus to allow transport of nutrients to the liver. And lastly, we also have the lacteal in the villus, which is part of the lymphatic system to allow the absorption of fats. Okay, so we have learned about absorption, which means that uh, taking molecules in their monomer forms and absorbing them into circulatory system. So today we are going to look into assimilation, where assimilation is when the absorbed monomer is brought into the body cells and is used to build a large molecule. Okay, now food is absorbed into the villi of the small intestine, correct? So, it is transported in the circulatory system to the body cells to be assimilated. Okay, from previous lesson, you know that water-soluble nutrients such as monosaccharides, amino acids, vitamin B and C and also minerals that enters the blood capillary network of the villi is channeled through the hepatic portal vein. Okay, let me show you here from the picture. Alright, in the blood capillaries, okay, channel through the hepatic portal vein here okay and it's carried into the liver okay all right now the liver will process all nutrients before distributing them to the body cells to be assimilated okay so all these nutrients will be sent to the uh, body cells now nutrients from the blood capillaries of the liver will then channel through the hepatic portal vein again let's see where's the hepatic portal vein again okay now we'll channel back to the hepatic portal vein okay and then into the vena cover of the heart to be distributed to all part of the body all right now what about the role of the lymphatic system the lacteal yes okay so here the lipid droplets together with the fat soluble vitamins the vitamins the A, B, E, K that is absorbed into the villi of the lacteal from here. Okay, all right, and are channeled into a larger lymphatic vessel into the lymphatic system. Now the nutrients are transported from the lymphatic vessel to the thoracic duct. Okay, to the thoracic duct here. All right and to be channeled into the left subclavian vein and then to the blood circulatory, blood circulatory system through the heart so the heart pumps the blood to the body cell okay let's look into the function of liver in assimilation of digested food okay the function of liver is for metabolism of digested food from carbohydrates and proteins Liver also function in detoxification and also help in storage of nutrients. Now, let's look into the metabolism of carbohydrates. The blood sugar level will increase when we consume food rich with carbohydrates, correct? Now, high sugar level will stimulate the secretion of insulin which is then carried to the liver. Now, insulin helps to reduce the blood sugar level uh, with two methods. Okay, where insulin will stimulate the conversion of um, excess glucose into glycogen to be stored 
Insulin also stimulates the conversion of glucose into storage of lipids in the adipose tissue under the skin. Now, insulin also stimulates the absorption of glucose into body cells for cellular respiration. Now, if the level of blood glucose is too low, then the pancreas will secrete the glucagon to stimulate the conversion of the stored glycogen in the liver or muscles into glucose for cellular respiration. Now, if storage of glycogen is depleted, then fats or protein will be turned into glucose for cellular respiration. Okay, now let's look into the functions of liver in terms of metabolism of proteins. Now, amino acids are from the blood, okay, will channel through the liver, through hepatic portal vein, of course, through the liver and then being transported into the body cells. Now, the liver also synthesizes plasma proteins from amino acids. Now, excess amino acids are not being stored, but actually they are de aminated into urea. Excess amino acids will be deaminated into ammonia and then ammonia into urea. Now, urea is then excreted, of course, in the kidneys and then removed in the urine. Now, the rest of the amino acids, okay, are converted into glucose and then into uh, glycogen and then stored in the liver or in the muscles, okay? Now, functions of liver in terms of other functions besides metabolism. Now, um, liver function in storage of nutrients where the liver stores uh, ions and vitamins, uh, fat soluble vitamins, the ADEK, and they are channeled into the blood through the hepatic portal vein. And then uh, excess glucose is also stored in the liver as glycogen. Glucose stored as glycogen in the liver. Next is detoxification where the liver carries out detoxification of the body. Substances that are harmful to the body such as alcohol, drugs, insecticides and others are de detoxif detoxified by the liver. Now the liver then metabolizes the toxic substances and the products are removed into the gallbladder or in the urine. Okay, other functions of the liver is that the liver regulates the blood lipid levels. Excess blood lipids are removed from the blood and converted into carbohydrates or stored in the adipose tissue. All right. The liver also recycles hemoglobin. When the red blood cells uh, die, hemoglobin is converted into bile pigment. Yes, hemoglobin converted into bile pigment and iron in the hemoglobin uh, is stored for future use. Now, uh, the liver also generates heat that is carried to the whole body through the blood circulatory system for the maintenance of a normal body temperature. The liver also produces about 80% of cholesterol. Cholesterol is very important in the buildup of the cells, membrane, hormones, vitamin D and bile for fat digestion. All these are the functions of a liver. Okay, now we will look into the assimilation of digested food. Now, assimilation is the utilization of digested food, which is the carbohydrate, amino acid, and the lipids, okay, to build up components in the body cells or tissue, or also used for cellular respiration. Now, let's look into the assimilation of glucose. Okay, glucose uh, are used in cellular respiration to produce energy. Now, excess of uh, glucose will be converted into glycogen and stored in the liver and also muscles. Now, the glucose is also converted into lipid, excess of glucose, huh? converted into lipid and stored in the adipose tissue. Adipose tissue is just a layer underneath the skin. Okay, now, uh, the assimilation of amino acids. What happens to the amino acid? Amino acid is used in protein synthesis to produce uh, enzymes, muscle cells, or they are also combined in the cytoplasm of the cells and plasma membrane. Okay, amino acids are used for growth and also to restore cells. Now, excess of amino acids are not stored, but they are excreted in the liver by deamination process, like how you have seen in your previous slide on the deamination 
process. Amino acids cannot be stored, but it has to be excreted. If not, it will be very toxic to the body. Okay, now uh, let's look uh, into deamination process also, which produces carbohydrates, okay, which are converted into glycogen by the liver and also to be stored, okay, excess of amino acids, deamination of amino acids. Also produces uh, urea, which is excreted by the kidneys. Okay, now assimilation of lipids. Assimilation of lipids is, uh, it happens when lipids are used to build plasma membrane and other cell structures. Okay, uh, excess of lipids are stored in the adipose tissue underneath the skin as the body supply energy. Now, when needed, lipids are broken down into fatty acids and glycerol okay, for cellular respiration or to be metabolized into other substances okay with that we are done for our lesson today so now our lesson you have to know about the assimilation of digested food correct now what is assimilation what is the role of the circulatory system in the assimilation of digested food and also what's the function of liver in the assimilation of digested food now you know circulatory system is important where it transports the nutrients through the blood to all the body cells correct now liver is also very important in metabolism a uh, metabolism of uh, carbohydrates proteins and also storage for nutrients detoxification and there are also other uh, smaller functions of the liver which you have to know then assimilation of this digested food what happens to this food that is absorbed how is it assimilated where is it stored that is what you need to know like uh, glucose is stored as glycogen in the liver or in the uh, muscles and then um, amino acids is un will undergo deamination process to produce urea for example okay and assimilation of lipids is also as lipids are stored in the adipose tissue and when needed it can be converted into fatty acid and glycerol to produce energy so these are all the summary of what you have learned today so once you are done learning that if you are if you still have any problem go through the slides again and understand and go through your textbooks to learn so once you are done you have to do formative practice 9.3 as usual all right uh, formative practice 9.3 is on page 154 so test your understanding and let's see what the questions are question one is state the meaning of assimilation that's quite simple and two is to explain the functions of liver in the assimilation of digested food there are only two questions here go through that and uh, do your notes make sure you do your notes and that's all with that i will end my video here thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel okay bye bye